everybody, I'm Scott Allen Miller. It is the 18th of December, 2022. I didn't have that prepared at all. And I'm here in Western New York in Geneseo. And uh, it is, it's Sunday morning and there's a light snow. I don't know if you can see the snowflakes coming down. There's just the littlest blit, littlest blit. Wow, it's gonna be a rough morning. <laughs> And I'm here at my dad's apartment. It is our uh, third day here, uh, and we're here for just a couple more days before we head down to Houston, where we'll be uh, celebrating Christmas with my wife's family uh, down there, where it's a little bit warmer, but still cold. It's not snowing, but uh, it's decently cold. Um, we're going to be heading out in just a little bit here to go to Tim Hortons uh, to get some breakfast for everybody. And then we're just, today is going to be an easy day. We're just, we're just relaxing uh, at my dad's place. Um, yesterday, we ran some errands and stuff, and, and there's always things we want to do when we're here. But for the most part, we try to just hang out because um, he has a really comfortable apartment, and it's always cold, right, when we're here. Uh, so there's not a lot of, like, going out and wanting to do things. There's a, a couple little things we want to do, but for the most part, we just, we just chill here. I'm going to get a little bit of video, though, um, out here. So I have to handhold, sorry for my finger. I, don't, I normally have extra accoutrements for the camera for the GoPro but because I'm here traveling and on the new camera I didn't bring anything with me and so I had to have a camera waiting up here and 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 uh, memory card and all that stuff I did bring the microphone so hopefully it sounds good but pretty much um, working from just hand holding the GoPro which which mostly works it's not too bad uh, but it's it's not the same as I I normally have I'm, I'm a bit more limited so I apologize for that really quickly I wanted to point this out and unfortunately the GoPro is such a wide angle that it's pretty hard to see but I'm standing on my father's balcony so we're on the second floor I'll, I'll point down a little bit um, so you can see it and uh, um, as uh, th there's a lot more controls on the GoPro 11 than there are on the GoPro 9, so I'm still learning a lot of stuff. Like there's more exposure control and, um, and more uh, HDR control and all that kind of stuff. But so this line of houses that you can see right here, these are the Hawthorne houses, and these were built in 2000. I think I think they actually built some of them in late 2002, but a lot of them in 2003 and 2004. In early 2003, when Dominica and I were engaged, we came over here and found a house that we wanted and purchased it early in the year. Um, but didn't take possession until later in the year. So around July 2003, uh, we moved into, and this is our very first house, uh, should be this one right here. No, I'm sorry, it should be that one right there. Um, and uh, it was one of the first five units built. This is now a big, full development, but we were right at the beginning of that. And uh, it, was a, it was just an amazing house. We loved it. We lived there for a number of years. And then even when we moved uh, to New Jersey and uh, the New York City area, uh, we kept it for, for quite a while until we got a really good deal on it. And here in the hammocks where my father lives, none of this existed. Uh, back then. This was all just open fields and our dog Oreo, which you may see in some really old videos if you hunt through my stuff, uh, he would once in a while, he would come through right over here and go running and he got lost out here one time. I mean, obviously we got him back uh, and had him for many more years, but um, this is this is a place where he used to play and we have brought Mia here. I don't believe Clive has ever made it here, but Mia did come and go for walks here and really enjoyed it just before she moved. So you can see the balcony a little bit around the second floor. Um, but so it's really neat that all these years later, um, almost 20 years later, uh, I mean, my dad's been here for a couple years now, but, um, that he has an apartment right in what would have been our backyard, uh, from that very first house is, is pretty cool. Like it's, and it's neat for us being back here, uh, basically like just feet away from where we had our first house. And um, I grew up obviously very close by, you can't really see it, but through those trees, the ridge over there is where I grew up. And uh, just, just the village is, is just behind these houses. So we're right on the edge of the village and the Walmart is, is just over here to the left. Uh, uh, but the university that's just a couple blocks down that way is where Dominica went to university. So we have so much history and tie to, to this village in this area um, that it's, it's very neat being back uh, here when we stay here and we know all the restaurants and everything. So we're going to head off to Tim Hortons now with Luchana. That is our, our thing. Uh, we love to do that in the morning and then uh, it's going to be a chill day here uh, at the apartment. So let's get the day started. All right, I'm here with Luchana. We are in the car, but we just came out. It's Sunday morning. 
uh, and we are at Tim Hortons. And what we do, I put this in a short, but um, what we've been doing for years is every morning, because Lutana loves Tim Hortons, and I love Tim Hortons, and the whole family likes it, but we're really the Tim Hortons people. We get up in the morning and drive over to Tim Hortons, because Grandpa, my dad, lives just behind here. Uh, and it's, it's actually walkable, but it, we're always here in winter, so it's way too cold to walk over. And uh, we come over, we get donuts and bagels and, and sandwiches and hot chocolate or whatever. They have so much good food, although every year they have less than the year before. That's really depressing. This used to be 24 hours, and now it's just just constantly declining, um, which is too bad because they used to have such a huge menu and so much amazing stuff. Now it's like they have, they have at no more than a quarter of the variety of donuts they used to have. But we're here a little bit earlier this morning, so we're hoping that there's a little bit more. And this is our fourth time getting Tim Hortons. It's only our third day. We got Tim Hortons in Batavia as we showed up. Then we got it when we got here uh, that night, I think. And then we got each morning, we've gotten uh, breakfast here uh, at the one in Geneseo. So it's, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing a lot of Tim Hortons, but it's kind of our thing. And we always do it when we're in Canada as well. So Luciana and I are going to head in and get breakfast for the family again and take it back to the apartment. But real quick, one of the reasons that this Tim Horton specifically is so cool, and I don't know that Luciana knows this story, is uh, Dominica and I, when we were um, just getting married, our house that we bought when we got married is right behind, right next to Grandpa's house. And this Tim Hortons was new, but it was the big thing. It was open 24 hours. It had a huge menu, so much bigger than they have now. And because it was open 24 hours and because Dominica worked at the Quality Inn, which is right across the street, not directly, the Hampton Inn is across the street, but right next to it is the Quality Inn. And both Dominica and Mary used to work at that Quality Inn when Dominica and I were first married and had just moved to Geneseo. And so I would really often, late at night, come get Tim Hortons and then, because this is when Andy and I were first starting our company, uh, we were only a couple years old, so it was, the company. Um, so I was working from home, had a home office. So at night, I would come over, get Tim Hortons, and bring it over to the hotel where Dominica was working. So this Tim Hortons has been a really important part of our life for 20 years now. I mean, it's we're only months away from the 20-year mark of moving into the house here. So, so this Tim Hortons... Um, while it still feels new to me, because it's a new addition to Geneseo, which is hard to believe, is something like 21 years old, and, and it's always been an important part of our family stuff here. So, all right, Luciana, let's head in and get breakfast for the family. This afternoon, we pretty much just hung out at the house. It was a decently relaxing day. It is Sunday, and so there's not a lot uh, that we need to do. We didn't go anywhere, we didn't do anything, um, and just uh, just enjoyed having some time to relax. For dinner this evening, that was kind of the big thing. Um, we had a lot of uh, food from Walmart that we got yesterday. We have a lot of um, fake meat products, which we're pretty excited about. So we had a lot of that today, and uh, we had a lot of leftovers to eat. Uh, and I ran out to Aunt Cookie's uh, to pick up a sub. And both girls were like, you know what? We want to ride along in the car and listen to music and stuff. So they came along with me. It's so cold outside. They're like, it's so cold. And the car was covered in snow. We had to defrost it and everything before we could go. Uh, but Went out, I got my, my sub from Aunt Cookies, which is, of all the food that I miss here, I think that's the one that I miss the most. I get pizza that I like in Nicaragua. It's different, but I like it, so I don't miss the pizza as much as you might think. And the garbage plates, ah, we could recreate that. It's, it's doable, um, and, and they're not as good as I remember. When University Hots was new, they were so, so good, and now they seem to be a little bit lackluster. They're still good, I'm not complaining, but they're not as exciting as they used to be, and I've, I've kind of lost my desire for it so much. Um, I don't feel that anyone has quite the potatoes that are that are perfect for it anymore. Um, and it's, uh, I feel like if, if I really made an effort, I could recreate it in Nicaragua better than I'm, I'm getting here because we don't have any particular ingredient that we can't get there. Um, but the subs, the subs are just something we can't recreate. We don't have the right cheeses, we don't have the right mayo, we don't have the right buns. Uh, and so that, I really, really miss that. So I got that, came home, and uh, then we decided to make tonight, uh, because when, once we get to the Grices, it's actually pretty hard to do this. Um, and so Dominic and I and Dad watched with us White Christmas. Uh, for those who've been following um, any of my blog or vlogs over the last 22 years, uh, that is 
a movie that Dominic and I started as a tradition for Christmas um, on Laserdisc, which is where I originally had it. I had seen it before that, uh, but we made that and to some degree Holiday Inn, but we only see that every so many years. Uh, but White Christmas, basically every year since we started dating, uh, originally on Laserdisc, then on DVD, now we have it on Amazon Prime, and when we're here it's available on Netflix, so that's where we watched it this time. We've watched it off of every media. We also have it on Blu-ray, so we own it in four different places and have it on Netflix subscription. We're a bit crazy about that, but um, I consider it the best American movie ever made. Uh, it's not my favorite movie. That would be Chungking Express by Wong Kar Wai, which is a Hong Kong film made at the end of the British Hong Kong era. Absolutely amazing directing and, and storytelling, but White Christmas is my all-time favorite Hollywood movie, and uh, we watch it every year, um, and it's always good. We know basically every line. We have been to Montecatini Terme, where the movie starts um, multiple times. Uh, we took our nieces there. Uh, we took the kids there long ago. Um, we're, we, we know the movie better than basically anybody. We, we have to be in the top 0.0001% of people who have watched that movie a lot. We know every song, every dance routine, every set, every everything. Um, and so we watched that and then uh, pretty much that was the evening. Liesl did do video editing for me today so we got a couple episodes done and ready and uh, loving working with the new GoPro. It is consistently being fantastic. Um, I've been so happy with GoPro over the years, but this one, for those who don't know, I started on the GoPro 4. I got that when we were heading to Spain in 2015. I got the, um, the GoPro 5 when we were heading to Italy in 2016. So my first one lasted two years. The next one lasted me until I got the GoPro 9, which would have been uh, two years ago in 2020. Um, that was my third GoPro. My original GoPro 9 was stolen. I then got a replacement GoPro 9 because it was stolen pretty quickly and the GoPro 10 wasn't out yet. Uh, and then, so this is my fourth model and my fifth overall GoPro. And they've always been great, uh, but the 9 really was a leap forward um, and really took it from something I like to use to a tool I use every day, as you know. Uh, and the 11 is a solid couple steps above the nine, which of course it's meant to be, um, but I feel it. In every moment I'm using it, I can tell this is a serious improvement uh, over the nine to my workflow, to the quality of the camera, uh, to how the images look um, and everything. I, am, uh, I have not yet figured out the jumping in the exposure that you guys are seeing from time to time. Um, we'll get that figured out uh, when I am less frozen and have more time to actually look at what's going on. But for the most part, I am absolutely thrilled with with what it's doing and and how easy it is to use uh so it's been it's been great and the enduro battery is handling these sub-zero temperatures really well much better than my hand is handling it uh and uh so that is it that is our day here on sunday uh if, if you remember to like and subscribe man i'm so cold i can't remember how to do my outro uh if you like to support the channel and warm me up you can buy me a coffee i'm gonna put that link below on the screen and down in the description that money comes right to me and really does a lot to help support the channel and help us afford things like the gopro so that we can continue recording and of course share on social media tell your friends and i will see all of you tomorrow <laughs>